He is a 77-year-old rock star, and he used to be one quarter of the greatest band in history, so there isn't much Ringo Starr hasn't done. And when he was knighted by a prince today, they found they had one or two things in common. He loves the Beatles, and I congratulated on the next baby. And uh, he said, any minute now, and I said, good. I know what it's like, I've got three of my own. He played the drums on some of the most popular songs ever written, so this knighthood may have been a long time coming. But it wasn't Ringo's first honour at the palace. He was made MBE here, along with the rest of the Beatles, 53 years ago. We had a lot of fun because there was four of us and I was a bit shaky today on my own. It would have been great if we were all here. I miss John, I miss George to this day. Won't you please, please help me? It means recognition for the things we've done musically and in life. Last week Paul and I had dinner in LA together and we were talking about from Liverpool to, to here. I mean, you know, it's like mad. After helping to revolutionise pop music half a century ago, Ringo released another solo album last year. It has been a long and winding road, and Sir Richard Starkey of Beverly Hills is still walking it. Geraint Vincent, ITV News.